Ubuntu 2004, which is codenamed Focal Fusa, is a long-term support release, which is supported for the next five years. It is based on GNOME 3.36 and comes with the kernel 5.4, and it also has Mesa 20.0.4, which is the latest at time of recording. The Aru theming has seen quite a few changes. We now have this uh, purple, which is accentuated and replaced a lot of the old orange colours, although we still have the traditional Ubuntu orange, black and purple colour scheme. You have the option of using the Yarrow light, standard or dark, and standard is a mixture of the light and dark colours. GNOME 3.36 included this new extensions tool, which is a subset of the controls offered by GNOME Tweak. It allows you to quickly tweak a few small items, and as you can see, you can immediately turn the Ubuntu dock off. But I shall leave it with the desktop icons turned off because I like quite a nice clean desktop. The Ubuntu installer now includes the proprietary NVIDIA graphics card drivers, and it provides you with the option of formatting to the ZFS file system. Although those options started appearing with the recent release, I thought it was worthy of mentioning because this is a new change over and above the long-term support release, of which statistically 95% of users will be choosing the long-term support release over the interim releases. The Deb to Snap transition has picked up a pace now with the Software Center only recommending the Snap-based application where both a Deb and Snap-based package exist. This is a similar story with Terminal where Snap packages are recommended above Deb packages. Oh, and the Software Center itself is provided as a Snap. Chromium is not even supplied as a Deb package anymore, and the rest of these Snaps I've installed for a bit of testing. The theming of the Snap applications is significantly improved, and that goes for the KDE desktop as well. They're actually looking a lot better than that. Uh, although I have to say the Ubuntu Software Center itself has the wrong mouse cursor, uh, the irony when they can't get their own application working properly. But for a couple of examples where it's working perfectly, we have Inkscape and LibreOffice. Yes, they're looking very nice now. Uh, VLC still looks like garbage though. That's the same story with Audacity as well. But yep, yeah, it's been quite an improvement. There's a Do Not Disturb feature to hide all notifications. And under settings notifications, we can control the notification settings for quite a few of the different applications. Fractional scaling is available in the screen display and you can also choose a different scale option here. So that's good for high definition displays. If you're opening an application which needs elevated privileges, there's a nice shiny new dialog box. The power off menu has been changed and there's a new blur effect on the lock screen. And finally, under the hood with the Linux kernel 5.4, we have XFAT now built in, so you don't have to install an additional package anymore. The WireGuard VPN has been backported from the new kernel 5.6, and there's a new lockdown security hardening in the Linux kernel, which can prevent attacks from the root user. So that was a look at some of the changes which have appeared in Ubuntu 2004. It's good to see that Canonical have actually tried making something more unique with the GNOME desktop, because at one point it was a case of, well, you might as well install any old distribution with the GNOME desktop. There was nothing unique that Ubuntu could offer, but yet yeah, they've gone to the extent of trying to theme it, they've tried to make it look a bit more unique. And while the Ubuntu dock isn't quite a one-to-one -one replacement of Unity, it does at least go some way to make them a bit more unique. And well, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.